All right, operation revamp the island for the kitchen starts now. <laughs> you didn't say it was on. Turn it back on. Good morning guys, welcome to the Max. If you are new to the channel, thank you for watching today. If you are a return watcher, thank you for coming back. Uh, today we're actually kind of, it's, it's raining, so it's nasty outside. So we're actually going to town. We've got to pick up some uh, cottonseed meal, which will allow us to hopefully boost some of our ryegrass, uh, put some ammonia back in the soil, um, and it's looking good, but it's kind of stagnant just because we've had some warm and uh, cool flux the last few days. Um, it should be freezing, but it's not, and it's supposed to storm today. So I will try to get that done and on the ground before, before it starts storming. Also, we've got to um, uh, we we bought we've had this little junky little piece of furniture in our kitchen that holds our spices, and we've. We keep just making it work, but uh, we're going to take that out today and we're going to build uh, Miss Mac uh, a new little island using that piece that's already got a frame to it. So it's it's not pretty, but uh, hopefully when we get done with the day, it will be pretty. She can paint it, stain it, whatever she wants to do, but we're going to take it and uh, revamp it and uh, hopefully make it nice because our spices, we keep adding more and more spices through some of the stuff that we've uh, dried and have and, and uh, we just need more room. So we're going to try to do that today. And, uh, and watch it rain because it is fishing a flood. So we're going to go get some wood from uh, Home Depot. We're going to go to a feed store and get some cottonseed meal. Uh, and then uh, hopefully get back, get that done, and start on our uh, project for the day. Also, while I'm driving, I'm going to tell you this too. We, you know, I have a little cart. I know y'all have seen it. If you've watched any of our milking videos, you see the little cart that I pull our milker on. Um, this morning. Yep, and this happened. I go out at 4.30 and lo and behold, I've got a flat tire and it's like busted. It's like, I don't know if something's cut or what. It might have been the kids playing uh, in the garage or just simply get ran over something in the driveway or in the field, but it is slashed. Uh, well, you know, milk can't stop. So, uh, so I'll just hand milk her this morning. Well, she was a little just uh, agitated because it took me so long to kind of get out there and kind of deal with that. So I decided just, just to pick up and take the milker out there. Uh, the milker is not lying, it's heavy. Uh, but we did get it out there. Uh, so it's been a very challenging morning with the milk and she didn't, her milk wasn't just all there today. So we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna try to find a tire for that too, because man, uh, we can't do that too much anymore. So uh, she's used to the milker. We wanna keep her on the milker, but at the same time, uh, we gotta figure out if we can find a tire for this little, this little trailer. If not, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to modify it. So that's another thing we're looking for today as well. All right, it is starting to rain, so we're going to try to get home and try to get this uh, cut seed mill out. Um, but that's bought the wood. You can see it's bought for the cabinet. So we're going to try to get home, try to beat this rain, see what we can do uh, before it starts storming on us. Um, and then we'll start on the, um, the piece of cabinet. But I can, one good thing about that, I can build that in the shop while it's flooding. So, um, but I gotta get this cottonseed mill out before it starts raining, and that way, hopefully, that'll help our ryegrass just uh, keep thriving until March. Uh, it was looking good, but now it's just uh, not growing as good as it should, and I think it's just simply needing a little boost. So, we're gonna add some ammonia to it, basically through the form of cottonseed mill.
All right, so I've got the cottonseed meal. I'm gonna mm. go ahead and spread this. This was this will help with nitrogen to boost the soil, almost mm. like what a urea or ammonia, true ammonia would do. And uh, we're gonna put it in this field. You see, it's just, I mean, it's growing, but it's just kind of splotchy and kind of stopped. So I'm gonna put a little bit here to make it try to, to grow a little bit more. And then also, now they're in this field, so I won't put it in this field or that field for right now, but I've got all those fields way over there behind old Bessie that I'll put it in too. And that way, before this rain comes in, we should get a, a good uh, laying of, of this cottonseed meal. So I'm hoping it'll help the grass and the ground. What's so cool about rotational grazing? Now this field, I'm gonna show you, is a dead field, meaning we didn't plant it for ryegrass, we didn't plant it for winter feed, we just let it go and of course it'll be our summer plot. But look at this. You see that this, this was just yellow, right? When uh, fall started and winter started. Now, it's not the best looking field, but you can start seeing patches of green. Look at this clover. We've got clover and some crab grass. We've got some patches of rye grass going right through here on this little water edge here. And the field below it is not planted either. But what it is is because we're doing rotational grazing, some of the cows are eating this clover and eating this rye and eating some of this other grass on the other paddocks, dropping their loads of manure right here. And look, you're starting to see big patches of clover, white clover. Um, we've got some patches of rye grass right here that's starting to really clump up. I mean, you can see all the way through. Now, 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 I'm not talking about that big field over there, but I'm talking about all this right here. You can see patches of green grass all through here. So what we're trying to do is instill the fact that we're not going to till up the fact that we're going to have natural you know winter grass and fall grass coming up so i, I went on and put some cottonseed meal here even though it's a dead field what we call a dead field uh, for spring and summer or for fall but it's going to be a spring and summer field but hey why don't we go ahead and put some ammonia on here basically um, and then that way through the nitrogen through the ammonia or through the you know cottonseed meal we may get some good growth here and that gives us kind of a jump on on spring when some of this other stuff starts dying because there's a lot of clover there's some even some turnips growing up through here and uh, some radish heads and things like that 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 the cows will eat so very pleased i mean and it's an ugly field it's meant to be i mean it's it's a we don't use this field right now but you know for us not to use it and have this green grass because we we let them come through here just to get through the two rise let them stay here for a few hours just to eat some hay the other day and because uh, you can see our hay over here I mean, I'm, 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 that's encouraging because again, we want to get to the point where we're not planting anything and it's just natural growth by just more and more and more organic matter going onto the soil. So very encouraging. We're going to finish up this because it is just a rain, but I thought that was really neat. I don't know if y'all get giddy and excited about grass like I do, but it's a sustainable part of agriculture that you need if you have animals. So, uh, that's encouraging. Okay. So I want to show you this. They were in this field about three weeks ago. Now, it's not got tons of grass growing it, but I want to show you this. See how they eat the tips, and we left a lot of this grass right here. See how it's just tall, and they've got tips ate off like that. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Greg Judy, and hopefully it's working, but we didn't want them to, to eat into the ground, so we just let them tip it, basically. Uh, now, look at this. What's so cool? Look at how that's coming back over. It's got a circle head. Um, that grass is ready to eat again. Now, some of it's not, so we're gonna let it grow a little bit more. They've been off here for about, I don't know, three weeks or so. Um, so we still got hopefully another good three or four weeks before they come back on here because after they move out from where they're at over there behind the, uh, the greenhouses, we're gonna put them next to the dairy stanchion over there by the pond. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting more encouraged this year at first I was actually a little discouraged because I couldn't get any, any good rye grass to grow. I don't know if I had bad seed or or what, but having the fact that we're starting to see more natural grasses come up, even in the winter, I'm very encouraged by that. Were you very encouraged by that? She's very encouraged by that. Just so you know what we're looking at. This here is the uh, table. It's just a ugly old bar that we had actually when we got married. 
we couldn't afford something. I mean, we, <laughs> in 06 is when we bought this, so it's old. And it's really not even that good a shape. But what we're gonna do is use this as the main frame, rip some of this other boards off and just refix it, and make some cabinets inside so it'll be just what we need. And then we'll have where Misty can hang some stuff on one side and then have some doors on the other to put uh, some things for storage. Because right now it serves no purpose. We don't use it to sit under it. Misty puts our splice racks up here. So what we're gonna do is just revamp it. So let's get started on it and uh, we'll see what finished product looks like. You ever heard the saying, measure twice, cut once? Well, because I'm not a carpenter by any means, I measure like 12 times and then cut once so that way I don't waste all this wood because as you see, this is a, a solid piece of cabinet wood. It's beautiful, um, but it, it's not some cheap plywood. So uh, I want to make sure that I don't, you know, waste the wood. Uh, usually I use a table saw, but I got these saw horses and that way I don't have to haul my table saw up here because like I said, it's fist a storm. So uh, we're gonna get a good measurement on this table one more time. We need to cut the two sides first, then we'll start working on some of the other framing. All the sides on the back side nothing finished but just got it on because i need to i have to sand down the edges and all that good stuff and they got the base floor in so it's coming along it's becoming a true cabinet away from just being an open bar underneath so very pleased so far you can see i used the framing of it to get that square just to save me time really but i'm gonna replace the, the insides replace the top and make a new front for it and uh Come on pretty quickly so I'm, I'm happy about that and when you save money and just refurbish something with some wood can't beat that well finished product we've got it all done of course it's got to be painted uh it's got to be painted but it is it is finished all i got to do is i'm going to sand down the doors a little bit there's some rough edges still i need to to hit and of course misty will have to paint it but it is done so we took a kind of a piece of junk you know 19 or 14 year old piece and uh dressed it up and made it this little cutesy thing so um you know it looks okay we just gotta do some caulking gotta do some painting and uh, hey you can't can't beat saving money well last thing of the day i forgot i gotta put the wheel back on the the cart you see it just busted on that one's just shot i don't know what's caused to mess up but I got to put a wheel on here and, and the bad thing is I don't have a wheel that actually fits it. Now they don't make it in store so I have to order it so I'm going to get by with these little bebopping wheels. <laughs> it's tiny too so hopefully I can get it on. We'll see if it can at least work for the time being. And uh, call it a night. Well I finally got it done and we're getting it all put back together. Super excited. Um, Daddy doesn't know it yet, but his milk and stuff is going in there because it has been stored on my counters for way too long. So, I'm super excited about that. I'm trying to um, get it all put back together. And as you can see, we took the table and basically closed it in. And that's where the, our milk and stuff is going to go. Instead of being on the countertop, I'm going to put a towel down there. We'll be able to close it up. That'll be able to free off my countertop. And I think it just turned out as cute as it can be. Happy.